Hi everyone, it's Andy from Hobby Headquarters and today we're going to be building the Tamiya Elephant and we're going to be doing something a little different this time we're going to be trying out Tamiya's fairly new it's a stick-on Zimmerit type stuff you got to cut it out and we'll put it on and we'll see how it looks let's get started <laughs> I found some different music for a change, uh, something other than classical, that I'd give it a try. Uh, let me know what you think about it.
Okay, I wanted to give you a little progress report on putting the Zimmerit on. Uh, I planned on showing putting on most of the big pieces, but because of the intricacy of this and the difficulty putting it on, you know, not having one hand, only using one hand, I decided to kind of put it on and didn't talk about it. This is a little actually tougher than I thought it was going to be, and that is primarily because when you're looking at the different pieces right here and you see the little holes, I thought they were already pre-cut out and they're not. And if you don't cut them out just right, it tends to create a little air bubble around the bolt that sticks out right there. So it's taken a little bit longer than I thought, so you really have to cut really closely and then really carefully cut those little tiny holes out. And you can get it to lay down pretty pretty smooth after that. So um, it's coming along pretty well so far. Uh, like I said, a little longer than I thought it was, but uh, I'm gonna keep going on it. Okay, I got all the little tiny pieces on, and I finished up most of the Zimmerit on it here, uh, which proved to be a little bit more difficult than I thought, even after doing all the other parts. Uh, I am getting a tiny bit of air bubbles around those rivets that I keep pushing down, but don't want to stay down, unfortunately. Uh, it's not bad, so I think once I put paint on it, it'll probably probably not even notice it. I also did take a small bead of super glue and kind of like sealed the edges of all the uh, Zimmerit too so we don't have any peel up, especially where they meet. Up here, it appears to be real smooth and doesn't want to come up at all, so I, I didn't touch any of that. But anywhere where multiple pieces kind of meet, a little super glue on it I thought will help a lot going forward. So now we're gonna put the uh, the 
black shadow coat on and that way I can see what, what flaws I have and if I need to do any more sanding or anything on that right now and before we start doing the main paint job. So let's get started on that. Thank you.
Okay, after I put that last coat of paint on, I saw a few errors in what I had done that I wanted to go back and fix. There was a slight, slight seam on the top of the barrel you may have been able to see in the last film. So I took and resanded that and then of course repainted the barrel. Uh, the sticker that was on top of this portion right here didn't like the way that looked. So I took both of those off and actually applied my own Zimmerit using a little bit of putty. Uh, filled in some of the little areas on the back with some putty where the Zimmerit met together. So overall, I think that stick on Zimmerit would work better for the Tiger and the King Tiger because they don't have all these bolts. Getting around these bolts and trying to make them look really good was really difficult. I'm still not 100% satisfied with it. I might mess with it a little bit more and see if I can fill them in without taking out any detail. But Overall, it's starting to look pretty good now, minus those little areas. Now I'm going to put the decals on and start working on the tracks and we'll see how those come out. What I decided to do here was to build the tracks almost as one big piece off the actual vehicle. Because to me I use poly caps to put everything on wheels and drive sprockets and idler wheels, uh, I think it'll be easier to put it on like this and then actually attach it to the vehicle. And we're gonna actually give it a little attempt here now that this is kind of dried to see if this actually fits. And it looks like it's gonna go right on. Push it on right there, and now all I have to do is just uh, do the bottom. So it looks like it works pretty good. So I think that's probably the quickest and easiest way to uh, put these tracks together. Okay, we got the tracks on and it is by far the best way to go by building the, the wheels or actually the drive sprockets off the vehicle with the tracks. They just popped right on and then just applied a little bit of glue on the front and back. Uh, 
Looks pretty good actually overall, the SAG. I was actually a little skeptical to begin with that it wasn't gonna work out right, but it did seem to line up pretty well. I've actually sprayed the entire thing now with uh, Tamiya Dull Coat to seal the paint in so we can begin the weathering process. Okay, uh, the kit is all done now and I wanted to talk a little bit about it. First of all, the kit itself went together wonderfully. Uh, no problems with fit or anything at all. Even the tracks, which I was a little skeptical doing the Lincoln length, that if I get them to line up, those two went together beautifully. Only one little thing that the instructions, I had to actually add a separate link into each side of the track to get them to, to fit properly. Um, could have been an oversight on them or maybe I did something wrong but it was weird that both sides both required one link to get that same sag but that was a minor thing because they give you plenty of extras uh, the Zimmeret I probably would not do the Zimmeret again I'd probably find another way to do it the sticker part it appears to be sticking pretty well I was having some problems earlier with some of the parts peeling off and some of the other things fitting properly and the bolts. Cutting around those bolts was a nightmare to do. <laughs> and I'm still not 100% satisfied with it, but it's good enough for, you know, for me at least. Some of you also might be, have found a different way, maybe of taking like a hole punch that matched that size and cutting out around it. That probably would have worked a little better, but I didn't have anything like that. And I also don't know for the future how well they're going to stick over time. Hopefully that the glue won't come off and they'll start popping off later. But minor thing, the Tigers and the King Tigers probably work a little better because they don't have those bolts. And it'll be a little easier to put on on a flat surface. And the Zimmerit itself too took a long time. It actually put, took as long to put the Zimmerit on as it did to build the entire kit. Uh, like I said, it's a minor thing. If, if you're willing to take the time, it does come out pretty decently. Like I said, you did have to fill in some of the cracks with some putty. And I did redid a few pieces here and there and using a little super glue on some of the edges to bond some of them together to make sure they don't come up. You also notice that I didn't do any weathering other than putting a coat of XF57 buff on it. I actually have a plan for a diorama that I want to use on this and I don't want to over weather that right now uh, in case I want to you know, do something different with it. Plus, I also will probably do a future video for the diorama and also the weathering all of it one type of video. Thanks for watching.